We are out here in Howell, Michigan. Made it to the Touch of Country Mall. It has antiques and collectibles. I believe they have 59 different dealers. Let's go inside, check it out. So first coming in here, we have a uh, old gas pump and some advertising. I really like this Texaco gas pump topper right there. That one's 179. Then they have a uh, Budweiser sign and an old uh, Ford pickup truck tailgate as well. <clears throat> some uh, beer steins, Anheuser Busch. Beer steins there. And an old USA jacket. It looks like this booth features the uh, Wise Owl chalk synthesis paint. And they have all sorts of different colors there. As well as right here, bigger versions of that. But what I like is what's up top here is they have all these different cookie jars. They have a little bunny rabbit there and then the Oreo one. And then this one also caught my eye. It was Big Bird. Big Bird cookie jar. Then coming over to this booth, they have like a, a fish there. And uh, some more pieces of advertising. And then the uh, jewelry and necklaces. Looks like they have some, uh, some glassware here. Kind of some general merchandise stuff. Oh, check out these uh, picture frames. These are pretty cool. It's kind of like a uh, Western theme on it. It says, Welcome. They have a display case with different glass and then um, some figurines. And then some more glasswares. Looks like on these uh, plates right here, they're asking $14.95 for the big ones and then $4.95 for the smaller ones. And then behind that booth, there's another booth that looks like they have some uh, handmade like um, uh, bags and like little purses made out of like, it looks like um, quilting material to me, I guess is the best way to describe it. It looks like they got a uh, antique typewriter there. And coming up top, it says there's a taba tobacco basket. Try saying that a few times fast. One nineteen ninety nine for that. And then the handmade items here. And actually, now that I see it, it looks like coming over here, there's uh, some more advertising pieces. And um, looks like they got the Miller and the Dos Equis in the Jeep signs right there, and then some uh, antique tools as well. And meanwhile, while I'm thinking about it, if you're interested in any sort of flavored coffees like s'mores, blueberry, so on and so forth, check out Coffee Brand Coffee and use the code Jackalope to get 5% off your coffee purchase. And it looks like they have a old CB radio right there, old bell, and then there's uh, more advertising pieces up top. The, uh, the stop sign there looks like they're asking 
25 dollars for that's actually pretty good for a stop sign 25 bucks and then check this out first time i've seen one of these ev charging station sign 75 bucks for that and then right in front of me is this prop m4a2 propellant solid class b explosive interesting i like that And then there's uh, that Pepsi Cola sign there. And then check out this wall. It has all sorts of different NASCAR and advertising pieces. Oh, display case alert. Let's check these out. Got the uh, Swan, the Dragon. And uh, looks like a teapot there with a face on it. That will wrap up this booth. Coming over to the uh, next booth here, it looks like they have some glassware, old Hershey's cocoa piece right there. A little furniture set up. Just kind of some general merchandise. Looks like this cabinet's got 15% off. Anything good? Eh, you know, some glasses and whatnot. Let's check out this uh, display case. Anything good in there? Some glasses. Operation Desert Storm button. And then uh, some bottle openers. And then there's one right next to that that also has some uh, dishes and glassware in it. And then some uh, some pictures there for you. Little cabinet. Some more dishes in it. More dishes. And yeah. Now it looks like we've uh, entered the clothing booth. Looks like. A majority of women's clothing here. Some uh, pants. Some more women's clothing. Nice little stand there, though. Wood stand. Next to that, got a uh, stand. Some dishes and glassware. And just got some more miscellaneous stuff here. Try to get the signs there. It says memories and some ties, old telephone. Over at the next one, looks like they have some uh, Americana items. I this might be for their Fourth of July display. I'm not really sure, but they have like a lot of stuff with like uh, the American flag on it and they. Uh, liquid dispenser up there next to that some photos some religious photos oh, check out this collection of uh, antique handheld mirrors there and then right next to that is some old wooden bowling pins and I'm lost at sea don't bother Toastmaster Waffle Baker. Now it kind of makes me want some waffles. Maybe waffles for breakfast tomorrow? What do you think? Some uh, Barbies up there. Looks like they're only asking between 12 and $28 for those. And just some more miscellaneous items. Down here. And then they have uh, some figurines and some dishes. And some more coffee mugs. And then check out this uh, antique desk. You can definitely tell that it's heavy duty. It's, I'm pretty sure it's hand carved. 
at least some of it is hand carved. At least that's what it looks like to me. What do you guys think? This looks like some miscellaneous items here. And then coming over here, I have this display case caught my eye. Wanted to see if there's anything interesting and in it. Looks like some lighters, a couple of keychains. Looks, looks like there's a pipe. Got the uh, American flag Zippo there. And then I think, I think these are lighters as well, if I'm not mistaken. These like, the guns. And an old antique uh, block there. Looks like we made it to the toy section now. And toy slash kid section. A nice, nice little turtle platter there and um, some dolls. It's booth number 57. You can save 20% off on all of these items. Looks like they have some board games and then just some of the, uh, the older toys as well. And in the middle of this whole thing they have like a, I'm assuming it's a playset for like doing dishes. Oh, here we go. Mud Kitchen, two sinks, includes over 25 accessories. That's kind of neat. The art cart there. And just all sorts of different miscellaneous toys. They have some, uh, some of these figurines here. It looks for like building, building some sort of set. And over here they have some model cars as well and up top a ladder truck now this section has all sorts of different pieces in it looks like they got a, um, some lamps and a chair this nice little taxidermy deer right there and then they have a little collection of uh, Toys and M and M pieces, and uh, next to that, they have some old lunch pails and uh, some plates. And a nice little table set. Coming over to the next spot, various miscellaneous items. <clears throat> they have a. Uh, Looks like a wooden table here with uh, various pieces and then a uh, antique coffee pot, teapot, whichever one you want to use it for. And uh, looks like they have a sailboat model here for $79. But what I do like is I like this Motorola advertising piece. It does have a tag on it that says not for sale, but. It's still cool to see. And then what's this? This is a retro, oh, that's the bobblehead. This is a perpetual calendar. Some uh, Art Deco Indian lamps. They are asking 150. I don't know if that's a piece or both of them. Those are pretty neat. And then they have some uh, Wall pieces, hand painted table right there, and then a dresser, an antique dresser. This is a rustic upcycle with a touch of lipstick. Looks like a majority of women's and uh, girls' products here. Nice little pink lamp, and some clothes. And uh, looks like just some general women's products and some signage as well. And uh, here, let's go over to the next one while we're at it. Looks like they have a nice little market sign. It's pretty cool. Kind of like a little corner booth that they have right here. 
some chicken and chickens. Oh, check out this old typewriter. Typewriter 1924 Underwood. Two hundred dollars for that. Uh, just another booth that has various items in it. I know it's the Coca-Cola glasses there on the uh, shelf. Some jewelry and some uh, clothes. Some more jewelry there. The uh, Founders Brewery bottle caught my attention. I don't know if you like Founders Brewery, but if you do, if you haven't tried it, you should give it a try. They do have some good brews. I'm not paid or endorsed or anything by Founders. Just uh, happen to like some of their products. Looks like we got the book section here. Right now it's, they're saying that they have 30% off all of the books. Um, I see all sorts of different pieces, children's books, regular books. Um, there's a potato chip container right there and some board games up top. And then some various art pieces. And in front of that, nice little display case with various items. Looks like we found the, uh, the sportsman's closet here. We have some uh, hunting clothes, different sort of hunting gear and some old tools. As well as, um, looks like, oh look, check out that bottle of witch hazel. Old bottle of witch hazel there. And, um, Wild View Extreme 2. Digital scouting camera. Oh, that looks like an old one. And, uh, some old tools. And then some uh, pots and pans, an old blender, an old Miller light case. And then this section has um, all sorts of different like wall pieces. So like they have the clock there and then like various art and uh, another clock. They got the car there and uh, definitely a lot of lamps as well. And some more art pieces and then check out this lamp right here I don't know if it's hand carved or not but it looks like it is I was trying to see what the price is on it um, I can't see but they also have the uh, more pieces wall pieces there And then they have this chandelier hanging from the top. So then they have this next section that has a chair right there. And then some more lamps. Check this out. It's got a square top. I don't think I've seen a lamp like that before. And then they have this pink pearl lamp on a pink stand along with this chair so this is red and white vintage and coming up top I noticed that they have a r ice cream float soda set that I thought was pretty cool they have a uh, buy US bonds sign and uh, just some different like looks like restaurant wear to me it looks like they have some old like syrup uh, containers and dishes and uh, they have an entire serveware set right here then they have this display case called the knife center looks like all sorts of different uh, pocket knives in there um, trying to see if any any of them are decent it's like a couple of them are somebody definitely like to collect pocket knives I can tell you that and yeah, looks like there's a wrench and a scope. And coming out of there is the uh, the next room with some more advertising pieces. 
and then this one uh, has some old records and some advertising pieces. We have the uh, director's chair. Please do not sit, though. The uh, what is this? Plays music, American flag. They have like a little firefighter bear. Oh, that's a that's a phone. That's a Coca-Cola phone. That's pretty cool. They have a Beatles sign and some more Coca-Cola stuff. And then a um, little display case with various pieces and a case here with some stuff on it. Some books. And then a uh, wicker piece there. A display case that has lights going up and down. I like the display case. You always got to get up and close and personal with these display cases because I find some of the best stuff is here. Well, this is interesting. It says, Welcome to Dragon Horde Playmobil Red Line. Oh, Playmobil. Red Line is 50% off. And it just has, <coughs> excuse me, it just has all sorts of different pieces individually packaged, like Pokemon, Loving Family, all sorts of different, like, play pieces. I'm not quite sure what this is. If you know what this is, could you leave a comment in the comments section so that way next time I see them, I know what I'm talking about. This is very interesting to see all these pieces. And um, this, this one has a bunch of glasses in it. Bunch of glasses there. And then this is like the lighting section. Check this out. That's like a spotlight on a stand. I've never seen anything like that before. All sorts of different lamps and lights. Lantern there. I, man, I can feel the heat coming off that thing. Holy cow. And then there's some lamps. Some lighting for you. There's another one too. Let me see. Oh yeah. And then check that out. It's like a lamp on some sort of like grinder or press I think that is and then they have some replacement parts for the lamps too and it says this antique looking radio or clock is Bluetooth compatible and then Malin's last job 103053 interesting very interesting and found this little advertising uh, cubby here. Got the Anheuser-Busch uh, advertising Corona and O'Doul's, as well as like all sorts of A&W uh, glasses and beer steins as well. Here's another one, Carling Black Label. If you haven't had Carling Black Label, if you can find it in the area that you're in, I'd highly re recommend that you try it because it is a good beer. It used to be brewed in Frankenmuth. I don't believe it is anymore. But you can still find it in Michigan in certain places and in different places around the country. Looks like we got the uh, $1 store here. I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Here's the $1 pieces. $1 this side green lined. Okay, let's see what we got. And then here is some more individually wrapped items I believe no further discounts on one dollar items and then they got some VHS and DVDs as well some books and some magazines they got some uh old tins up here, York Peppermint Patties and some tea tins check 
this out. Wooden clogs. And then some old bells. This is the happy happy section, according to the time, uh, according to the uh, sign out front. A little bit of everything. Teacups, glasses. Old uh, cabinet there. Found the wall of advertisement here. They have the uh, Tecate and Smirnoff no parking sign, as well as the Sweetwater Brewing Company. Truly. And then the Do Not Enter sign there. All right, I found this little corner room and um, it's got some pretty interesting pieces. First is this TGI Friday sign, and it says that it's a. Uh, it's from the 80s and there's like all sorts of different old license plates and uh, there's a display case here it's got um, pretty much a little bit of everything in it and uh, check out this bike this tandem bike um, got some vintage cars and airplanes and then this section has like a whole bunch of knives as well and like there's uh some pocket knives the uh more knives there and check out this uh old gas tank and some canes and then coming over here, there's like some uh, vintage military pieces as well. And um, there's like old like shells. There's a grenade there. Some mess sets. Um, some old pins. Bullets. Some more grenades. And uh, some belt buckles. And there's uh, some women's jewelry here. Oh, I just saw that silver. Oh, that's actually a lighter, that silver grenade lighter. And. Uh, Just uh, all sorts of stuff in here. Very interesting and cool. All right, so we're just getting out of the uh, Touch of Country Mall Antiques and Collectibles. I spent about a good 45 minutes going through everything. Um, so this is a nice little small place here in Howell. If you're on your way through, if you want to check it out. And if you like these types of videos, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and we will see you on the next one.